talk about the number one question that I get, and that is the fear of overposting and organization. So let's just begin with explaining what, um, why you would need a strategy, why you would need organization, and why it's really impossible to overpost. Um, Facebook has an algorithm system. It's EdgeRank. Oh, it's unofficially EdgeRank, where what gets in front of certain people is based on so many different aspects. So the possibility that you or your post is getting in front of all 1,000 of the people that you that follow you is impossible unless you're posting every hour all day long. So take that fear of overposting and just get rid of it. So Facebook, like I said before, has a strategy and a system with what they put in front of their users. So you need to develop a strategy based on their strategy, a counter strategy, to really have an effective Facebook content marketing plan. So like I said, they have a strategy, so you need a strategy. The best way to penetrate their strategy is to know. It's based really on five factors. The first one is interest. What interest the user has in you and at you as the creator. So what you're saying, how much interest have they shown in what you're saying. The second is post. Um, what you're posting, how important or how interesting your post is, how much engagement it's getting, and then also the creator, which is the third one. Um, how popular has the, the content been that you have posted before that? So that's why you need a strategy um, because every post is important. So how interested they are in past content. The fourth one is type, and that is pictures, text, video, um, how popular and how much Facebook likes that, that type of content at that time. It's always changing. And the last one is frequency and did, did you just post? How frequent did you post? How recent is the post? So all those things are important and it's those are all things you need to go through before you do post and plan out your posting. And I would say as far as over posting, if you want to get in front of people, you need to be posting at least three to five times a day throughout the day. More than that, I don't think it's going to hurt. I'd say between five and ten, depending on how many users or how many followers you have. It's, it's not going to hurt as long as they're not back to back to back to back. And it's great content. It's helpful content. It's interesting content. And you aren't spamming anybody. I have people tell me, well, I have 500 followers, so you're telling me that each post only gets in front of 20 of them. Maybe, yes, that is what I'm telling you. But don't let that dishearten you at all. It just means that you need a plan. You need to know what time of day to post, what your best days are, where where your people are, what time your people are on, what days they're on, and those are all available on the insights. So in order to really see an effective marketing strategy, you need to be consistent, you need to be patient, and at the end of the day, Facebook's always changing. So you do not want to put all of your eggs in one basket. Test out the other platforms, get really good at those, and so you're not putting all of your time and your effort into Facebook. Three to five posts, five to ten posts, I know seem like a lot. And they would be if you sat down every single day and planned them out. What you need to do is automate your post. Um, get familiar with an automation system like Buffer or Hootsuite. And sit down, designate a day, and schedule all of your posts. And make sure that they're full of value and interest to your users and not just you. And you will see a difference in your reach and in your leads. Think of Facebook as a lead generator, not necessarily a sales generator. So to round it all out, Facebook ultimately at the end of the day has the control over who sees what and when they see it. So if they have a strategy and a system, you need a strategy and a system. If your efforts haven't been successful yet, it's because you're not putting enough time and effort into what you're posting and when you're posting it. I will take this time to let you guys know again about um, the social media workshop that we are doing for Central Ohio businesses, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, and almostpreneurs. We go even deeper into this. We help you develop your own strategy that day. We offer so much more in the class. 
check it out at www.fredarlingstudio.com slash the hyphen social affair. And then you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash fredarlingstudio. Follow us on Twitter and tweet us at at underscore Fred Darling, and then always, always, always you can leave comments below. I hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm.